pull one, par three, 225, got a cosmic reactor. That'll do. All right, pull two, 261, uh, straight down the tunnel, got a hex. Should be all right. Kind of lucky. I'll take it. Okay, pull three, 222. Got a fireball. Um, pull requires a little bit of a flex on a forehand. You see the basket's kind of tucked around some trees there. So a little bit of a flex to it, but I come back. Got a little bit around the corner, but I think it should be fine. Okay, next one, number four, it's 280. Um, you'll see a tree back there with like some orange dots on it, some orange berries. That's about where you wanna be fading in. So I'm gonna forehand a Tesla. Basket is behind a berm to the right. It's a little bit grown in, so it makes the shot a little bit tougher. Should be okay. Okay, landed at about the circle. Let's go. All right, hole five, two twenty three. You may not be able to see it, but you'll see the, the you might see the rim of the basket or the band just up over that berm on the right hand side. Uh, I'm gonna take a fireball because you gotta fire something out there straight and it's gotta cut pretty hard. Should be okay. Turned out all right. 25? No, not too bad. About 20. Okay, full six is 240 feet uh par three tunnel with the basket just on the other side and to the left so i'm trying to put an nd right down the tunnel that'll do par three 
parked her. All right, hole seven, uh, distance is 421. It's a par three. Basket is way back there in that little grove of short trees. Um, I'm gonna try and do a fission photon. There's a tailwind, so it's gonna stable up things just a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Put her closer than I thought. Sweet. First time I've tuned that one. Okay, hole eight, 243. You can see the blue basket straight away. Um, there is a little bit of headwind, so I'm gonna stable up and give it some room to work with a proton resistor. Looks all right. Left it just a little bit short. I'm inside the circle though. Not so bad. Away she goes. Okay, uh, this is hole nine, par four. It's a 391, straight down this tunnel. I would call this the signature hole here. You can see there's a, you might be able to see, there's a train car down there. Uh, and the basket is literally right next to the train car. So I'm gonna take a fission crave, see what I can do. Oh, hook up. Don't go in there. Okay, that's not terrible. Back to the fairway, I can deal with that. Okay, uh, crave landed. Oh, I don't know. Maybe 80 to 90 feet out, maybe 100. So I got a jump button. Crash. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, hole 10, par three, 256. Tunnel, sort of, you have like a couple of trees to hit for a gap or you have an outside gap on a backhand. Basket's pretty much straight ahead. So I got a beat up old neutron resistor. I'm gonna try and keep it straight and let it fade right towards the basket at the end. Should be okay, might be just a touch deep, but it should be fine. Okay, hole 11, par four, distance is 348. This actually might be a par three on the shorts. Uh, it does not stay on the sign, but go through the gap here. It is a long turnover or a long forehand. I'm going to go for the turnover with uh, an old beat up Proton uh, Insanity.
Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Okay, so this one's a little tricky. Uh, 437, par four, hole 12. Um, the placement shot, really. You have to get kind of out there for that furthest tree and get yourself a little bit left so that you can see your next shot, which is around a corner again. So, a little bit tricky. You can't put one out there. pretty good we'll see when we get up there I guess hey little one Did you see my disc buddy over here by you. Probably gonna spook ya. Alright. Oh, there's a whole family of them. Look at them. <laughs> you go on. Go be with the kids. I don't want to throw at you, so you keep going. Okay. There is four deer hanging out and this one I'm sure they're watching out for the other three because there were three little ones that darted into the bushes this one's just kind of keeping an eye on me but the basket's up there and I had a really great shot um I'm about 100 and so out but it's like a putter shot but I don't want to whack this deer because he's just like doing his business or she I guess in this case why don't you go on bud <clears throat> hit you so watch out for this <laughs> watch my shot go flying in you messed up my shot dude all right go with your buddies yeah there you go the deer didn't want to leave me alone so my shot went a little bit long he's still here he's still watching me play this entire hole. There he goes. <laughs> cool. There's another one under that tree. There he goes. And he had a squirrel buddy with him there. Go on, dude. All right, so this is hole 13. It says par five on the sign, but this is a par four from the shorts. It's 700 feet. Um, this one is where the, the holes really start to get hairy. From the longs, we're gonna see a couple of holes that are eight, nine, eight, nine hundred, a thousand feet long from here on out. Um, but this is one of the longer shorts. 700 feet, you gotta pump one out there, and then there's a turn, and then you go further straight ahead. You might be able to see the basket out there, but placement shot on this one. So I'm gonna forehand a photon, Try to get to the right of those the, that double set of trees. Well, that's going to require a little bit of work. All right, so this location is a little crazy, but I do have a gap. And I do have a way to get there. I don't know that it's going to push all the way there, though. So, I'm going to fire a uh, fireball towards that tree. See if I can't get it to push left.
gap I wanted, gotta skip. I mean, it's something. Okay, hole 14, par three, 206 feet. There's a forehand gap and a backhand gap. Neither of them are wonderful. Pin high, she just didn't fade hard. All right, pin high. Not too bad, 25, 30 feet out, maybe. There we go. Okay, hole 15, par three, 233, the basket. You can see the tree line of dead trees there. It cuts hard along that and then gets off to the left. Um, for some reason, I have more trouble with the shorts and the long on this one, but I'm going to take an entropy at it. <laughs> of course I'd catch a tree. <laughs> All right. All right, hole 16, par three, distance is 330. The basket is down this fairway and to the right, and then tucked oh, just a little bit. It's pretty hard to get with a, get there with a forehand because there is some guardians there that really make it difficult. So I'm gonna try and uh, go with this really light Proton Insanity, get it to turn over and maybe kind of flex towards the basket at the end. Do it. Oh, he clipped a branch, of course. Ah, stupid trees. All right, so I don't know, 80, 90 feet, enough for a jump putt. Not bad online. Need more juice, though. Stupid tree screwed that shot up. All right, so this one is 17. It is 644 feet, it's part four. I know it says five on the sign. This is the longest fall on the course from long to long. It's like 1,010 feet. Um, basically what you wanna do is get up towards that tree line way far out there to give yourself the best angle down the next tunnel. So I'm gonna take a, a Sarah Hokum Crave and just see if I can't get as far as I can towards that. Okay, you can see the basket straight down there in a grove of trees. Uh, the crave landed pretty well here. Just need to put another one down that tunnel as far as I can. Uh, another crave, fission crave, by the way. on the bone there but we'll figure it out all right so i'm about 60 short 
maybe a little bit more but low ceiling hard to put anything straight at it so i'm trying to take an entropy and hyzer around the outside with a little jump putt here What you can do on that one. Okay, hole 18, par 3, 187 is the distance. Uh, so they finish you off with a little ace run here. I'm going to take an entropy. The basket is around these bushes at that other tree line. And there's a couple of bumps there, a couple of berms. It's on top of a berm. So see if we can't get one in here. Finish off with a bang. Well, it's not going to be an ace, but it's parked. Cool, cool, cool. So that's the runway. Um, the course was put in a couple of years ago, around 2020. The whole thing was designed by Eric McCabe. Um, so you see the, the fingerprints of, of DD all over that place on the signs and everything in the baskets. Um, there are 18 holes there and on each hole, well, just about every hole, there are short and long pads, which is great. It gives you a little bit of variety. You can go out there and kind of mix it up. And on top of that, there are short and long baskets on every hole. So sometimes you're playing from the same pad, but you're playing to a different hole or to, to a different basket. So out there, um, shorts to shorts, what I played in this video, um, is 5,862 feet, which is for our area here in, in Michigan, um, shorts to shorts is kind of what most of our full courses that we see are. Uh, long to long out there is 8,548 feet. So we're talking like big time. As I mentioned in the video, some of the holes out there are seven, eight, nine hundred feet. Uh, there is one hole that's over a thousand. Um, that is a monster. Uh, it's a par five. Um, you saw it. It was hole 17 in the video, and I only played the, the short to short. So tack on a little bit more at the beginning, trying to hit that gap where I teed off from and uh, where the basket is that I played to on 17. Just tack on another hundred and some, maybe 200 feet past that. Um, and it's over trees and, and through some, some pretty tight gaps. So uh, longs to longs out there are really challenging. I think the first time I played there, we played longs to longs and I might've finished plus eight, plus five, somewhere around there. Um, it is a serious challenge. Um, I can't wait to start seeing tournaments out there. It's gonna be an absolute blast. The course is still new, um, only being around uh, for a couple of years. Uh, it needs to be beaten in a little bit. So go out there and check it out. That Everybody hitting trees and branches and tromping down the ground, every bit of that helps. So go out there and check it out. I can't recommend this place enough. I finally got to play there this summer and I have been back numerous times just because I love it so much. Um, uh, there are some issues in the spring. It was a little bit of a late start this year to get out there because the ground does get a little wet. It is a little marshy. Uh, in some areas, and I think that made it a little tough for them to get some lawn mowers back there. So in the spring, give it a little bit of time to drain out, and they will get it cleaned up. Um, the uh, the whole like the whole big picture here is that this course is absolutely amazing. Um, you can tell that it was put in by or designed by uh, you know someone who has some experience doing this. Uh, you can tell it's going to be a championship level course, you know, for that distance, that that challenge for the long to long. So. Um, can't recommend it enough. You got to get out there and play it. Um, it is, it is something that our area really needed. I mean, we had great courses. We have some really nice courses. We have hunts, you know, nearby and, and, you know, a, a, a bunch of others. Even if you go a little bit further north, you have the Heron's Nest, which was just put in not too long ago too, which is also fantastic. But this one is only like 45 minutes from me. So this is a no brainer. I'm going to be there quite a bit. So, um, Get out there and check it out, and I uh, hope you'll like uh, like the video. Make sure you 
click the thumbs up and maybe hit the, the subscribe button too. That would help as well. So uh, everybody uh, get out there and throw. Later.